Spencer and I were meeting about two to three times a week, just really piecing together everything, making sure that it felt right. Spencer might come in, you know, with all this energy about like, oh, okay, I've got this idea, like it's gonna be really great. I know what we need to do for this scene. <laughs> What did you guys think of that editing session? It was it's sick. a real deal. One thing that was kind of challenging was there were actually still quite a few scenes that we needed to shoot. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> It was pretty neat being able to just see everybody come back together. It was a great reunion because we had mostly everyone and seeing the cast for the first time since shooting, right back to where we left off. Hey, we're back at it, guys. They were all pretty manageable. We were shooting them local. It's just one weekend here, one day here. This is the frame. You guys are all co converging in here and then different Studio people are pulling the extras out of it. So that's the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Two minutes to get the camera ready, and then once that's ready to go, we're gonna get things rolling. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Action. What did you think? You're the one that's editing this. Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. All right. We also had to reshoot the playground scene. What are you doing, dude? There were a few shots that we didn't have that were kind of crucial to moving it along. I ended up turning to Spencer and kind of telling him, I, I think we might want to reshoot this one. Who does not know what a hype speech is? <laughs> Raise up your hand. I All said you it like people, yeah, right you before you came. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna be moving gear right next to the rocket ship. It was really fun being able to bring people that weren't a part of that community at first and bring them right in into the experience of Space Waves a little bit more. It's yeah. just like last time. Are we good? Okay. Yeah. Action. Tell me how this scene's been going. I can't believe I still have a voice. How are your lungs? I'll probably be dead tomorrow. <laughs> a box and a half. Let's look at this little pile. <laughs> it's not all of it. Boom! <laughs> yeah, that was good. The start of the scene is like Marvin and Joy walking in. Imagine yourself in that class. So maybe you can be, um, you, are, you had a good expression. You're just like, oh. <laughs> but yeah, you should be drawing. You can be just drawing back there. And then I need somebody else like sleeping for the next no, shot. No, two, actually. Yeah. 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 Do this and uh, try to get you guys closer into this. Okay, yeah, that's good. Ready? Action. Or in the wrong classroom. You think? I think this is sex ed. Should we send it? Let's butter this bimbo. That's the last shot for the day, man. Yeah. Space, 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 space. Come on. Come on. As far as we knew, there was no other tower like it, and we're starting from square one trying to find this perfect replacement. And we only had uh, one lead, and our one lead so far was Google. <laughs> <laughs> we're telling people, yeah, like everything's going great, we're gonna do this thing, and we're scrambling behind closed doors. What are we gonna do? It's really raining right now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> the space tower wasn't something that we could easily just replace in the story. So many other people are saying, just shoot it somewhere else. Oh, it's not that big of a deal, and they don't get it. You know, space and this tower was the reason why I wrote this movie, and that was what the whole story really revolved around. We just didn't want to compromise. We had to have this conversation between compromise and vision many times. If you're not siding with vision and you're siding with compromise on the heart and soul of the story, you're doing it wrong.
Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. We are going on a trip to promote space waves. Going you know, we're going to hit the town, do some damage. Damn right. Yeah. <laughs> there was a point where I was kind of getting concerned. Really didn't know what was going to happen. I knew we were going to try and get it done before the summer came around. And But it was still a concern of mine that we didn't have somewhere that we were promised that we could shoot at. Our plan is to film at a different uh, radio tower. It was just a whole lot of praying and Googling and calling people if they had any sort of lead. We said, you know what? We believe this is supposed to happen, whatever it takes. We had until May 8th to shoot the scene because our school's equipment room would be closed for the summer. Each weekend that we choose, we end up sacrificing one person from being able to come or one thing that we needed. So Drew wasn't available here, Rudy wasn't available here. One weekend we could have everybody except for our tower climber. Or one weekend we could have everything except Connor and we would need a different DP. <laughs> Are you hurting? Is that okay? Yeah, it kind of stings. We find one weekend that can work in April, and everybody's free except for the tower climber. So let's just hope and pray that this will be it. Because after this, Rudy leaves for five months to go do this Netflix show. So we need to do it on this one weekend, and this is like the only one. It really is do or die at this point. <laughs> Now it's nine days left, we have no leads. One week left, we have no leads. I'm sending emails and no one's responding and... We prepared like we had them already. We drop a lot of money on Airbnb, on porta potty rental, on insurance and climbing gear. And we just do everything like this is gonna happen. And it's getting down to the wire. And then finally, this one person says, ah, oh, you know, I had a really crappy day at work. I'll let you know tomorrow. Uh -huh. And then he calls back the next day and says, oh yeah, we can do it. I could do it. <laughs> and I was trying not to freak out over the phone because I was so elated. Just, I could not believe it, dude. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. That was one of the best, best moments. feelings. And that was two nights before yeah. we had to leave. Two nights before. And we got our climber. <laughs>